Hey everybody, how is it going? This is Doctor Who. This is season 23 and this is part 3 of The Mysterious Planet. So last episode, Perry and this guy and his friend were taken to the woman who runs the village and basically she wanted to marry Perry off to many husbands, which obviously Perry wasn't overly fond of. The guys managed to escape and we've got back to the cave system where the doctor was and he managed to get away from his stoning. But we also discovered that one of the guards that's below surface has been helping the people below surface get out and basically get to the village and save them basically because there's these calls that happen and we've still got this immortal who seems a bit crazy he's got two of the smartest people that live down here working for him and they only ever see the robot so they thought the doctor was an android when he first entered the room and it's just all a bit mental i still don't really know why everything is happening we destroyed the pillar that was in the village as well that was blown up by grenades and we also discovered that these fires possibly that occurred aren't actually the end all be all of everything that was happening so i'm really looking forward to watching this let's go it's broken tooth why does he fire at you broken tooth it's balazar oh my god the robot the immortal one Please, don't call everybody it's one of the only people the guy got out we are trying. It doesn't respond. You're alive. They said you've been cold. Mm. I owe my life to Murdy. I too. Well, I hate to break up this happy reunion, but I have to find the aerial to drag those black light converter. No need to hurry. It's gone. Yeah, he blew it up. Gone? Where? I blew it up. You will all return to our village. Our queen has unfinished business with this person. Yeah, marriage. No, you will come with us, and you will come quietly. Are these unpleasant scenes necessary to your case? I find primitive physical He's got physical point in there somewhere. Distressing. So do I, ma'am. Especially when I'm on the receiving end. My lady, it is certainly not my wish to cause you any unnecessary affront, but the accused's offences are such that a certain amount of graphic detail is unavoidable. Oh, very well. I have urgent work for Balazar, but I cannot find him. I will search for him at once. Where are you going? Continue your search. How does that up at the top? You drain my energy reserve with your constant infantile bickering. I thought the Queen just welcomes these people from below, though. She must know where they come from. My hospitality was not to your liking. Just needed to step out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> and who is this? The oh, Doctor. How do you do? I am known as the Doctor. Another star traveller? Mm-hmm. Well, in a manner of speaking. And are you interested in the great totem of Haldrum? It's gone. I beg your pardon? She means the light converter. Ah, yes, indeed. Now, how could you possibly have... Have you have searched known... him for guns? Uh, he has none. Oh, these are not my friends. Well, uh, with what... Uh, yeah. Your great totem is not what it seems. Then please explain. Its function is to convert ultraviolet rays to black light. So I do not understand what you are saying. <laughs> well, Drathro, did, um, the immortal depends on black light to function yes he is a robot fascinating since your friend just told me that it was a navigational beacon he lies <laughs> a common complaint among star travelers <laughs> i am not a liar uh i don't wish to appear discourteous but I'd better get back to Drapro. remain where you are you have no quarrel with us they destroyed your beacon mm. you you are a star traveler. That means you bad. Star traveling is forbidden by the gods. The underground dweller shall remain with our tribe. Oh, hell. <sighs> so it's in the last of this place. <laughs> yeah. Look, you've got to help us get out of here. I dare not, Doctor. The Queen will burn us in your place. You're the Time Lord. Haven't you got a ring you can rub? A magic lamp? Something for these sort of emergencies? Hardly. More your style, he looks so thought. pissed off. Anyway, what does bring you here? Purely a private enterprise, Doctor. Who is they working for? To collect for? a few mouldering files of no value except to scholars such as myself. Oh, you're a scholarly philanthropist, are you? Exactly the description, Doctor. It goes around blowing up black light converters. A small expediency if I am to endow a library on my home planet of Solostopus. In the constellation of Andromeda. 
You know of it? Hmm. And what we don't know is the name of this planet. Yes. You mean he hasn't told you? A man of your learning, Doctor? It's got to be Earth. This is Earth, of course. Oh, I said so, didn't I? That's why the Lost Expedition, mister. What Lost Expedition? Uh, we'll take the last of him as well. Shut up stand in front of me when I keep an eye on you. Keep calm and stay still. Can't you shake its hand or something? It doesn't have a hand. How do you do? I am known as the Doctor. <laughs> Now's our chance, Dipper. We've got to help the doctor! He'll be all right. He's in good hands. Come on! No! Oh. He's still got a hook. Escaped. I told you to guard them. Well, the immortal came and took them. We both saw him, Katrika. He walked through the wall. Shut the gun! They have destroyed the source of my energy. Take measures. Create a defensive system. Identify and... Destroy the traitors! All this is irrelevant and hypothetical. Background testimony. What possible value yes. does the farm yard here I think there is in listening to some half-incapacitated robot and a couple of diminutive nitwits who might as well be robots? You're allowing your disrespect to show again, Doctor. I'm sorry, ma'am, but the question still stands. Why? As prosecutor, the Valyard has the right to include any evidence he considers to be relevant. The accused is clearly ignorant of the latest methods of surveillance, my lady. This evidence is taken from the Matrix, a knowledge bank fed constantly by the experiences of all Time Lords, wherever they may be. Yes, 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 Mum, I know that, but my whole point is that I'm not. Not what? Not part of the scenes being shown by the scrapyard here. I'm sorry, Valyard, force of habit, I apologise. Doctor, the experience of third parties can also be monitored and accessed if needed, as long as they are within the collection range of a TARDIS. Oh. <laughs> But my TARDIS is an old model. Are you telling me it's been bugged without my knowledge? Bugged? The expression derives from an Earth term. I see. I think we are wasting time on an unimportant issue. Continue the evidence, Valyard. What if they hit the Doctor? Stop it, Marco! They'll kill the Doctor! Yes! We've all got to go sometime, Barry. <laughs> They have guns. From where? Guns can be manufactured. Their manufacture requires advanced technology. Yeah. And therefore, the fact that they have guns yeah, means they, they also possess advanced village. technology. False reasoning again, but for these are savages. Their guns must have been supplied from without. The doctor. Are you following me? Like you, I'm looking for a lost man. Mm. It simply occurred to me that it might prove more productive if we searched as a team. What makes you think the doctor and Balazar will be together? Events. Meaning? I don't think the immortal's orders are always carried out, especially when it comes to culling. Mm. I always supervise the cullings myself. I know. And that's so what do you mean? Call me sin. I think you send people outside. Then they are destroyed by the fire. Does it really matter how they die? Depends whether you really believe that the surface of the planet still burns. It doesn't. I believe what the immortal tells me. Then you are a liar. The immortal's reign is ended. Katrika the Great One. Long live Queen Katrika. I wonder how she became now the queen. the immortal is dead, how shall men live? In the tribe of the free, we had no need of the immortal. We shall live as we always live. Except now, the immortal secret shall be ours. Oh, help me get this thing off. I shouldn't bother. He's probably got horrible injuries. Yeah, those injuries. <laughs> I didn't even things. check. Talking of guns, Dipper. Oh, my head hurts abominably, Sarah Jane. Where are we? I'm not Sarah Jane, I'm Perry. Yeah? And you're lying under the oh my god! Of a robot. That's the first time he's ever mentioned her since she was in the Five Doctors. Get this thing off me! Oh, I've been trying to. More like it here. Now they've killed the immortal. She's planning a takeover. But this isn't the immortal. This is just a machine. How long have they been gone? A few minutes. Got to get after them. Mm. Why? They've got to be stopped. They'll all die. The situation's worse than you imagine. It always is. <laughs> Balazar, you and Broken Tooth have lived in this blackness. You will lead the way. I know a tunnel that passes Marv Station. Their guns will kill only you. What if we die? Who will look after your research? He'll get someone else. The Long we have waited for this moment. The immortal is dead. And we shall plunder his castle. The spoils of triumph are ours. Now think. Which is the way? Oh, this, this way. How am I to be surrounded by fools? We go forward! But Katrika... Forward, I say! 
I can't let people die if there's a chance of saving them. Yeah. You got the guns in? Well, it looks like it, Mr. Glitz. I'll tell you something funny, Dibber. We was wrong about the doctor. He's bunked off. He hasn't bunked off. He's gone down there. What? So he is after what we are. Well, could be. Of course he is. He's just trying to save everybody that he can. He's got no more interest in the scientific side of things than I have. We didn't fall in. Tell him you're a philatelist, did you, Mr. Glitz? Philanthropist, you ignorant dink. The remainder of that evidence has been excised, my lady. Huh? Excised? Why? By order of the High Council. This is a judicial inquiry appointed by the High Council, but independent... Why did they the remove candidate. it? It is my duty, Valiar, to decide what evidence is relevant. Of course, my lady. The High Council simply felt that certain areas of testimony should not be revealed. Why not? Are they setting the doctor Against up? Against the public interest, my lady. I think that would be unfair to the defendant. <laughs> Do you wish to lodge an official objection at this stage, Doctor? No, ma'am. No, let the Valiard here continue. Oh, no. Give him enough rope to hang himself, eh? Murdine. Mr. Train? The train is noisy. We hunt by foot. Oh. What are you hunting? You. You. My favourite thing about this is probably actually Glitz and Dibber, I think their names are. They actually really make me laugh whilst watching this. I have to admit, though, this season so far, I have really started to warm to Colin's performances as the Doctor. I really struggled through most of season 22. I did get more comfortable watching him toward the end of that season. But I don't know what it is about this. It might just be the format that they've decided to use for this season. But I just think that I'm enjoying it so much more and I'm really intrigued by it. The Valyard intrigues me because I don't really know what his angle is. The fact that the High Council have told them to omit certain parts of footage, why? I think that there may be some ulterior motive here. The fact that the Doctor didn't object to that, I think is going to come and bite him back in the ass, And we still don't know where Perry is. We're seeing her in these vids, but we're not seeing her with the Doctor. And I'm just wondering, it because the Doctor's appeared at Gallifrey, what happened in the interim between 22 and 23? Like, because we just saw how 22 ended. It's like, where did Perry go? I'd like to find that out. And now we've got this queen and her villagers storming the palace that they call they call what the, where the immortal lives. And I think these two like genius lads maybe might turn on the immortal at some point because he basically told them they were expendable and the doctor can just do the work that they do. I'm gonna go watch the final part and I will see you guys later, so thank you.